Welcome, Chronics. I actually have some good news today. I know, this never happens. And, and I will sing it from the rooftops. It's very exciting information. There was just a study released from Poland. She's usually very good from Poland. And... Drum roll. Oh, oh, uh... They found an altered gene that may be responsible for hypermobile EDS. That's it! That's the big one! There may be several genes responsible for EDS, hypermobile. There is a woman who is a PhD student and she did research and will be releasing her findings soon and I think she found a gene that could be responsible for hypermobile EDS. So things are looking up, kids. Things are looking up. Let's celebrate. I will be so interested to see if when her findings come out are the same as the Poland study. So it is the MIA3 gene that's affected. MIA. Doesn't that stand for missing in action? Which is like been true for everyone in the medical field when it's come to hypermobile EDS. So collagen production is a very complex process. Allegedly. And there is a specific protein that they found called Tango 1 or Tang zero one. I personally like Tango. I think it sounds cooler. So Tango 1 plays an important role in collagen production. This Tango protein is encoded by the MAI3 gene. And this study found that there was one particular variant, we'll call it R2D2 for now. So R2D2 is responsible for cutting off the protein Tango 1. They studied 100 people with diagnosed hypermobile EDS and they found 14 anomalies basically among these 100 people. But it was that one variant that was proven to be passed down from mother to daughter because they were both in the study. See, I knew if people were working on eye drops, like someone had to be looking into this. Your lips to God's ears. Obviously, there needs to be a much bigger study, but... It's a start. Early diagnosis is so important. And if we have that affected gene, it's hypermobile EDS, baby. But I've attached the study, which you can read on your own. I encourage you to. I almost through my phone when I saw this pop up. But then I thought, wait, this is good news. I didn't throw anything. Always remember to be true to yourself and not take crap from anyone. I will see you guys next time.